Yo, what up, everybody? Cover Moses with you. Welcome. It is time for yet another break. 2019 Donners Baseball Half Case Number Two. All right, so, so Kim, a trade for the Royals here. Brewers for Royals. Royals and Brewers. All right. Yeah, where are the Brewers at? Right there. So, boom. So, Kimmy G got the Brewers and Jordan the Royals. There it is. Done deal. All right. Let's open this thing up. And as always, good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. What team does Joey Bart play for, uh, G-Man? The Pirates, I think. The name is familiar. Plays for the Giants. Gotcha. I'll be on the lookout. Good save, Matt. Good save. Good save. Alrighty then. Let's see what we got here. Good luck, everybody. This is not numbered, but it does have. I don't know. Anyways, keep it going here. What's up, uh, dude? How are you? The Kluber nickname card. Our base cards. Rookie. Danny Jansen, rookie. What do we have here? Marcakis for the Orioles patch. Martini rookie. That guy's name is Martini. That's awesome. Is that the? That's the whammy. Nice. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Whammy Mojo. Oh, that's nice. These things are rare. At least that's what the internet tells me. There you go, Blob. Blue Jay Mojo? Somebody check on Blob. He he may have fell off, uh, off his chair or something. I mean, if you like nice things, not a bad way to start. 
pretty sweet. Poochie nickname card for Acuna of the Braves. Now these are funky. There's a team on the front and on the back, so gotta random that. Actually, that goes here. I want to keep all my rookies separate. Dang it! There we go. Better. What do we have here? Oh, buyback mojo. Numbered 5 of 10, the recollection collection buyback on card autograph <gasps> for Roger Clemens. That is noise. There you go, Red Sox. Not a bad box at all. Very nice. I think that's like the third Clemens I've ever pulled. There's some sweet stuff in this Donruss, man. Got a random these American Pride cards too. We'll do that at the end. Strasburg 314 for the Natties, the National Nails. Mick for the Cardinals. Bueller Day Off. Kluber to three ninety nine Indians Juanjo Juan Soto that's Juan Soto right yeah for the Natties nice a little Otani insert there to one forty nine Showtime that's a really nice looking card cool looking inserts in Donruss. I want to see what are them rated rookie autos. Mondesi for the Royals, 275. Kevin Newman, Pirate rookie. Tiger Astros rookie to one fifty Chris Archer Pirates Jake Bowers rookie Rays Bryson uh, Scott Stott. 349, the USA American Pride card. I'm going to random that at the end, like I said. Carpenter, St. Louis to 500. Stewart, Tiger rookie, Schwarber. Cubs Mojo
Lindor, 999 Indians. Toussaint Brave rookie. Harper to 42 Nationals. Why are you doing it? Why? Okay, anyway. Patrick uh, Wisdom. Really? That's that dude's name? To 49 Cardinals? It's a hell of a name. Wisdom. Zilla for the Rays, the nickname for Blake Snell. Robles Nationals patch. down seven left Let me make some space here get this nice and orderly all right Two. <clears throat> Machado Dodgers, three forty nine. Nine 
Trout 999 on the front. Oh, that goes to both angels. Nice, that works. Don't have to write on that. Mouse draw Astros to 500. Yadi Molina Cardinals. Lake Snow of the Rays with a patch. So 150 for Nando Romero of the Twins. Oh, got a patch up here. Whit Merrifield Royals. Nice. You say Kikuchi. Mariners rated rookie. I hear that is uh, highly sought after. I can already read my boy's mind. Has been top loaded right there as you can see. Yusei Kikuchi. He's uh, apparently supposed to be uh, the new Otani. At least that's what I read on the internet. Arenado of the Rockies to 999 on the front. And then we got Vlad Guerrero Blue Jays on the back. So, got to random that. On the birds. Watson, the USA, American Pride, ninety nine. Nice. I see the autograph staring at me right there. But I'm going to keep it pushing here. Bogarts, Red Sox to 150. Well, here's the autograph. Marcel Ozuna, number 19 of 26, on card autograph for the Cardinals. Former Marlin. On to uh, bigger and better things, as usual, whenever they leave the Marlins. Oh, God, I hate that. 
Anyway. A little gold mojo to 99 Lindor Indians. Brand Anderson Marlins to 49. Is it? Yeah, it says 2018. You ain't lying. Yep, it's a, also a recollection collection buyback. Good call, G Man. Nice back to back boxes with buybacks in them. Good eye, G Man. Good eye. The old Panini fold. Uh, Aurora's Escano Braves to 11. Trevor Richard, 49 Marlins. All right. Two boxes down. Oh, wow, Joe Paul. You is back there. Playing catch up. <laughs> uh. 
Scherzer to 99 Nationals. Kevin Kramer, 49 Pirates. Looking for him, JMS. Looking for him. You know, not for nothing, the first two boxes were pretty good. Two buyback autos in the first two boxes. Not to mention the whammy in the first one. So that's incorrect. That goes over there. Bueller's Day Off for the Dodgers to 150. What? D. Gordon Marlins patch? Robles Nationals patch to 99. Shay Langleers, 99 USA American Pride card. Give <coughs> me some water. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to get some water real quick. Woo! <coughs> And we're back. <clears throat> All right, let's continue where I left off right here. <sighs> Soto to ninety nine Nationals. Nickname Kluber 
Ronald Acuna Jr., 249 Braves. The Elite Series are real nice looking inserts. Rizzo, Cubs, 49. Blackman, Rockies, 99. And then, yep, got a random that. Two teams on that card. El Causa, the cause. That's what that translates to. That's a kind of cool nickname. The cause. Mike Miner, Rangers 150. Diamond King cards are pretty cool too. Showtime. Otani, the nickname variation. Rangers to 500. <clears throat> mm. Wonder Franco, who, what team is that for, uh, G Man? Tiki Toussaint, Braves autograph right there. Almost got the entire autograph on the sticker. Kind of messed up a little bit there. All right, so we got a giant, a ray, and a national. I will be on the lookout. They go Braves hit right there. The two sunk. Dolphins fan 123, first and foremost. Hi. You can't say hi. Rude. Parker Karachi in a 99 American Pride. And secondly, well, I don't know. Are you talking to me or G Man? Scooter Gannett, 310. Reds. <clears throat> I wasn't talking to you, Kimmy G. How's everything, Dolphin fan? No, I'm not, not a Rockies patch. Alright. Which pile? <laughs> uh, G Man. I got piles all over, man. Giant there. No giant here. <coughs> Hunter Pence, you mean? Anyway, 
<clears throat> yeah, if it had a black border, it would have been in either this one or the other one. <coughs> I think maybe you got it mistaken with this one, maybe? You know, G-Man, well, maybe Chris Shaw Giants there. This is why I suggest watching on YouTube, because on YouTube, you can actually go back in time. You can go back up to two hours on the live stream. Can't do that on Breakers. Not to my knowledge, anyway. There's a Brandon Crawford Giants there. So I'm, I'm honestly I'm just gonna I'm gonna stop I'm just gonna stop streaming on Breakers eventually. <clears throat> no, like barely ever have any action on Breakers. Gonna just completely turn everybody over to YouTube. Checking the store. Doesn't look like anything's going right now. I'm on box number four. fast autograph for the Cardinals Dakota Hudson that's the second Cardinal autograph right there you talking to me Joe Pa oh you all everybody you know in suspense of the Donruss right now you know everybody's holding their breath
Rizzo the Cubs 349 and then a Ray on the back so we got a Ray on that <clears throat> okay B Yelich for the Brewers to 150 what's going on with you Joe Paul how's life treating you what you got going on for the weekend talk to your boy Pujols, Cardinals patch. Field 182 Royals. <clears throat> there you go, Blob. Way to be greedy. Not only did he get the whammy, but he wants to auto too. That's what I'm talking about. Speak it into existence, baby. Korea 99 Astros on the front. Royce Lewis Twins on the back. Got a random dad. Cedric Mullins, 312 Orioles. Ha, that's what she said. Dude, I haven't gone golfing in in like we in weeks. I already know if I go back, I'm gonna suck. But I do want to go back. Maybe I'll try to go maybe tomorrow. Well, actually, I'm gonna do my taxes tomorrow. That's gonna be fun. I am not looking forward to paying that. Not at all. Parker Karachi, 99 USA, Michael Braun. <coughs> Dang, G Man, no bueno. Let's see if we can do it for you, my man. Still got a ways to go. Still got the other half. And hopefully a, a hot box or two. Scherzer, 99 Nationals. Snap, Francisco. Damn, I would love to do that. Yeah, really. I, I just, I, I'm on the range. I want to get good at that. Nice and artist proof. Five of ten. Jack Flaherty Cardinals. So far, it's been a Cardinals case. Decent. Five of ten. <clears throat> Castellanos Tigers uh, to 459. <clears throat> the Dominator to 99. Blake Snell Rays. A 
would be Baez to 74 Cubs. Play grip it and rip it? Uh, yeah, but probably not the kind that you think. <laughs> uh, I cracked myself up. Otani, 149. Angels. Cool looking guard. So in Grip It and Rip It, every shot you have to be holding a beer in one hand? What what game are you playing exactly? Like basketball or something? Kind of hard to golf with just one arm. Interesting. Davers, Red Sox patch. Still got another half. Still got four boxes to go through. Peter Alonzo, Matt's patch. Dang. What's his name? Popeye? Pacers, Bucks play. And then Thunder Blazers. Ooh, that Thunder Blazers game going to be good. That Pucks Pacers game looks close too. 50 to 54. I can't wait to go and play 18 holes. Yeah, I, I've uh, you know I'm just I'm stuck to the to the range right now. You know once I can consistently hit it, that's when I'll probably venture off and try to do 18 holes, which will probably take me all day. Mm. 
Sounds about right. Yeah, James, this is a long break, all right. I think there's more cards in this than there are in Heritage. At least on a per box basis. Plus, there's cards flipped all over the place, so you know, I gotta flip them right side up, and little things like that start to add up. Trey Turner, Nationals 99 on the front, and then Rays on the back. Maybe, JMS. I mean, you're, you're usually right about everything, so. Lorenzo Kane, Brewers to 150. It's a good thing we're not doing full cases. Tani to one eighty four angels. <laughs> this sounds about right, Jameis. Sounds about right. Dominator, Mike Trout to nine nine nine. The Dominator. That's pretty cool looking card. Uh, I wish I could stand up and do these breaks sometimes. Rosario to 500 Twins. Joe Paul, we already got four cases of it. I just can't rip it until tomorrow. And by I, I mean Jason. Because Jason will be live this entire weekend. I will be back on Monday. Oh, yeah. Haven't had a three-day weekend in a while. Yeah, you know, th this thing uh, has a way of lulling you to sleep, Greg. You guys aren't necessarily helping me in the chat, you know. Oh, two way Astros patch, so I'm really trying to uh, stay awake right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm off Fridays and Saturdays, but I'm, I will also be off this Sunday. But yeah, we already got four cases of Encased. It came already in the mail, so Jason will be ready to rip that tomorrow. Uh, Camargo, 455, Braves. Really, James? How come? I mean, you would think because it doesn't have the logos and stuff. For Encased, yeah. The checklist for Encased already came out. There's one on Group Break Checklist. I got you, Jameis. 
Marte to 49 Pirates. I'm down, Blob. Let's do it. I'll go buy myself a monster and then we'll rip the rest of Donruss tonight. That's what I told Jason when I saw him earlier today. I was like, my plan is to kill Select. Accomplished. Now, we just got to kill the Donruss. We only got two cases left. Split up in half cases, but I think it can be, definitely be done. Just got to do it. I need this thing to heat up, though. So we can get the other stuff going. For the Padres, Luis Urias to 99. The autograph, very nice. The greatest center for the Heat, I would have to go Alonzo Mourning. You know, I would love to pick Shaq, but Zoe was around for way longer. And people forget, Zoe was like a, like a dominant player in his prime. Zoe was a beast until he was uh, diagnosed with uh, with that uh, that kidney failure situation, but he overcame that. Really cool story, man. But uh, I would have to go with Alonzo Mourning. You know, even though Shaq did help us bring a championship, the first one to Miami. He he just didn't play long enough for us, uh, you know, to deserve that. You know, if Bosch hadn't had to retire, he he could have been probably our best, you know, uh, uh, power forward. I mean, actually, he is our uh, for, like he he is our best power forward. I'm trying to think back. Andrew Vaughn, 149, American Pride. I would say Udonis Haslam, but Udonis Haslam did not put up the numbers Bosch did at any point in his career, as much as I love Udonis. Uh, Greg, are you serious? Shaq not as dominant after leaving the Magic? What? If anything, he became more dominant. Sure, he he got you know he 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 got fatter or whatnot, but but he was bullying people down there on the low block. Yelich to ninety nine Brewers. Yeah, Zoe that game clinch in game six on the road against the Mavericks. Zoe had like four blocks that game. Kershaw, 349 Dodgers. But right now, the Heat got this kid called uh, Bam Adebayo. Man, I think if we can, you know, continue to coach him up, I think he might be, pre he, he, he has the potential to be one of the best, one of the best big men to play for the Heat. I think highly of Bam Adebayo. That guy is a beast, man. D. Gordon Marlin, uh, Marlins patch. Zoe had a nice, uh, you know, mid-range game. You know, that's that's another thing that uh, people don't talk about. You know, when they think about Zoe, but he had a nice mid-range jumper. You know, he he was deceptively quick with that first step. You know, he would jab you, then swing the ball through. He, he had good footwork in the post, nice, you know, nice moves, he had a nice little jump hook. Zoe was nice, man. You know, for a while, Zoe was putting up 20 and 10 every single night, no problem, with like four blocks to boot. Andrew Vaughn, 99, American Pride. It's just, it's sad that he had to miss a few years uh, because of that kidney failure. Who knows what his numbers would have looked like if he kept on playing. Rendon Nationals 99. 
But I, I am super happy that we were able to win a championship for him. Ah, Dr. Jack Ramsey back in the day. I swear the, yeah, yeah, the only real Heat fans know about that. Zoe might be one of the most underrated big men in NBA history. Dude, Zoe would be a beast in today's NBA. I mean, Shaq would Shaq would be dominant in any era. But Zoe, Zoe would be a monster in this in this in this in, this, in the league today. Let me see that G man. Dude, Dwight is a pretty big dude. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, Shaq is just unreal big. He met, but I'm saying, like even even as big as he is, like he's like it's it's straight muscle. But, like, LeBron's a big dude. You look at LeBron right next to Shaq. Shaq makes LeBron look like a child, man. And put Yao Ming next to Shaq. But, yeah, Dwight Howard looks like a baby compared to, to Shaquille. Best shooter the Heat ever had? Oh, man. Glenn Rice. Glenn Rice. I would go either Glenn Rice. I mean, Dan Marley didn't play that long for us, but he was pretty good. But, yeah, I, I would have to give it to Glenn Rice. Ray Allen didn't play long enough for, for, for me. For, for me to, like, you, you know, even have him in the discussion. Although he hit one of the most clutch jumpers in NBA history. But, yeah, dude, we, we had Dan Marley for, for a while. He was a beast under Dan. But more pe mo most people are going to remember Dan Marley back when he was with the Suns, you know, and for good reason. I think he only he only played a few seasons with the Heat. But we've we've had some good shooters, man. Damian Jones used to shoot the three pretty well. I remember we had this guy named Jason Capono who could shoot the hell out of the three. But I would go Glenn Rice. Glenn Rice made it look so easy. I wish we kept him around. I actually met Glenn Rice. Uh, and, and I spoke to him a, a few times. Uh, Glenn Rice is, dude. Matter of fact, let me uh, let me pull up the picture here. But yeah, man, Glenn Rice is one of the cooler uh, athletes that I've ever met. Here it is. This was uh, a few years ago at the National in Chicago. Yeah, 2017. You know that that's me trying to show, trying to teach him to put up the three hundred five, but dude, if you look at his hands, Glenn Rice's hands are first of all they're massive, but like they're all like literally all his fingers. Like I think he has like uh, I think he has um, arthritis in his hands, so his hands look like like they're like they're weird. So I tell, you know, the first thing when I when I met Glenn Rice, you know, I, sh I shook his hand, you know, we took a picture, and then, uh, and then you know, first thing I say to him is like, yo, I really wish you never left Miami. Glenn Rice, like, smiles and chuckles to himself. Like, he looks down, like, he takes a moment to think, he looks back up at me, and he's like, you know what, man, I wish I never left either. 
Like and uh, and he tells me that he he actually still works for the Heat. He's a he's a he's a scout for the Heat. So you know that's what I love about the Miami Heat, man. Is we're we're a family. It, it feels like a family kind of deal. Like once you play for the Heat, you're always a part of the Heat family. Otani to nine 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 Angels. So I love how like former players always come by, and we always show love to our former players. And, you know, the Heat do a good job of, you know, keeping those former players inside, you know, the uh, the, 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 the business operations, the day-to-day -day operations and stuff like that. Corbin or the D-backs to 150. Like, Tim Hardaway still works for us. Alonzo Mourning. Freaking uh, jo Jawan Howard is a freaking assistant coach. So once D Wade retires, pfft, he he already got a job for life with the Heat as a as an ambassador. What website is that? Let me know so I can uh, put a petition out there to shut that down. Hassan Whiteside nowhere near the dude. I can name ten better players than Whiteside. Off the top of the dome. That's ridiculous. Yep, Shane Battier still still uh, does stuff for the Heat. Abreu to 500 for the White Sox. Oh, David for sure. Like it's it's not even close. Like Udon has had many opportunities to leave the Heat. But, you know, he's a heat lifer, man. That man never wore a different jersey aside from that heat jersey. Love you, Donis. Yeah, for, for a while there, he had a nice little game to him, too. Yelich to 249 Brewers. You know, he had a nice mid-range jumper that was wet like water. Damn near unstoppable. Uh, I used to joke and call it uh, his timeshare, Udonis' timeshare. You know, the uh, it was the uh, the sideline, like 12 to 15 foot jumper that he had on the baseline. Automatic. Really, Gary? I don't know what's going on there. I got to figure out what happened there. Maybe I sold that team twice. I don't know what the hell is happening. Well, thank you for bringing it to my attention, Gary. Now that's something I need to figure out because I, I don't know what happened there, man. I don't know how the hell that happened. Rizzo, 484 Cubs. Sounds good. I, I'll take care of that, Gary. But that, that raises a bigger question, though. Like, how did that happen? Because I pulled the report straight from the store, so. Oh, boy. But thank you, man. Thank you for letting me know, Gary. I'll take care of that for you, man. Aaron Judge Yankees badge. What team am I missing? The Reds, huh? Walker Bueller, Dodgers. So I'll do this, Gary. I'll put you down for the Reds, and I'll still issue you that refund, man. And any Reds hits, I'll still send them to you. Because uh, that was my fuck up. So let me write that down. Austin Hayes Orioles patch. Thank you, Billy. Appreciate you. Let me make a note of that so I can take care of you, Gary.
Now, Gary, would you prefer a refund or break credit? Either or, I'll take care of you. I'll do it after this is done. Really? That's his nickname? Juan Soto Childish Gambino? Weird. To 999. Nah, Joe Paul, you're fine, man. You you know, because you, you, you got the skew right there, so... You know, that's what I'm saying. Proof that you bought it through the store right there. So that that's that's me. I, I messed that up. The White Sox should have never been in the filler. So that's that's my bad. We got another Tuki Toussaint for the Braves here. This one, number 3 of 25. And he kept the entire autograph of the sticker. Very nice. Gotcha, Gary. Sounds good, bro. So, like I said, I'm, I'm going to give you the Reds, you know, and no extra charge to you, and I'm going to send you that break credit. Appreciate you, man. I wonder what the Marlins are going to look like this year. We've come, we fucking sucked during spring training everybody getting hurt it's gonna be oh it's gonna be one of those seasons Kershaw to 99 Dodgers on the front he's on the back so gotta random that no problem Gary Jeff McNeil 471 that'll go to the Mets Gianna's getting angry. What's going on? He's turning green or something? Yeah, JMS, again, you, you didn't have to do all that. Yeah, I already knew that uh, that was my mistake, but thank you for putting that out there. Robley's 348 Nationals. Oh, he's getting the Shaquille O'Neal treatment. Yelich, 326 Brewers. I remember Shaq used to get fucking clobbered down there. And they would just call it a regular foul because he's so damn big. Like, oh, he can take it. Tanner Burns, 99. American Pride, got to rid of that. We have Jake Cave to 42 Twins. Two boxes left. Hoping we get a hot box here. Yeah, I know, right? I, I don't know. That, that James Harden, I don't know. Yo, honestly, if I if I coached, I would straight up tell one like I I'll, I'll, I'll put like one, the scrubbest player I have, I'll put him out there and I'll be like, yo, you got six fouls. I want you to touch up James Harden. I don't care if you foul out in five minutes or or whatever, or if you set a record for fouling out. I want you to use all six of those fouls, and and put a body on Harden. Guard him, you know, the entire length of the floor. And if you have to, clothesline the motherfucker. Like, play dirty. I don't care. If, we're, if you're going to foul him, if you're going to call bullshit fouls, we're going to give you a reason to call a foul. That's what I would do if I was a coach. I would go straight old school basketball. Anytime that motherfucker drives... Put him, put his ass on the floor. Make it physical. Make it earn it. Make him think about it. Every step back three, when he comes back down, 
Put your foot out there. Let them roll an ankle. I don't care. We play dirty. We play street ball. That's why I love when the playoffs come around. Because they, they always allow physical play during the, like, you cannot compare, you cannot compare playoff basketball to regular season basketball. It, like, it goes up a lot of notches. A lot of notches. Like, they actually allow physical play, and I love it in the playoffs. All these dang notifications. Hey. Bill and Beer, man, I would love to have that guy on my team. And I would hate to play against him. Yeah, I have a theory. I feel like every championship team needs a player like that. Someone that's willing to do the dirty work. Like, every championship team needs that. Or, or a so-called so, so enforcer. Udonis is our enforcer for the Heat. I used to love when people would get... You know, I remember back like in our heyday, everybody used to try to fight the Heat. And it was they, like they would always go after D-Wade. Always would go after D-Wade. And D-Wade ain't no punk. D-Wade would get in there and mix it up and Udonis would step in and oh man... Good times, good times. All right, let's see what's in this uh, seventh box here. What do we have here? A Vladdy Guerrero Jr. There you go, Blob. Ask and you shall receive. There you go. Pretty freaking nice. Got the entire autograph on the sticker. That's nice. Put that over there. Boom, boom. So a hot box usually means that there's more hits than, than a regular box. So usually a hot box will have, like, if, if, the, if it's supposed to have three autographs or relics, a hot box will have more than that. So it'll have, like, four, five, or six, six autographs or relics. Or it'll have more parallels. It'll have more numbered cards than usual. So that that's what a hot box is. Manny Machado, ninety nine Dodgers. El Tuve, ninety nine Astros on the front. White Sox on the back. Got a random that. Uh, Tanner Rainey, 25 Reds. Not yet, Louise. Not yet. I'm hoping it's either this one or the last one. I mean, it's not guaranteed. So we shall see. 
I'm trying to speak it into existence here. Machado Dominator to 149. That's a cool looking card. Luis Urias to 500. Padres. Jesus Sanchez raise patch. You know, if if Giannis wins the MVP, I I get it, but honestly, I think Giannis is overrated. I know, I know, I'm just a hater. Domingo Ayala, got a random that. He does not have a team. I think Giannis is overrated. That's just my opinion. Put that away. Got a random list, so put it there. Dominator for Freddie Freeman Braves, 349. Thank you, Greg. You know, at least you didn't, uh, you know, you know, just completely take a shit on me. Peralta, 352 D-Bucks. What? G you, you, what? Giannis overrated? What? No way, bro. What are you smoking, bro? That's what I was expecting, but. Glad that did not happen. You feel me, Greg? You feel I, I like to stir the pot too. Sometimes I like to just say outlandish things to uh, get a rise out of people. <laughs> Although, I genuinely think he's overrated. Chris Sale, 237 Red Sox. Same with Ben Simmons. If either of them could, like, shoot the basketball, oh, my God. Unstoppable. But how the hell are you in the NBA and you can't shoot the ball? Like, that is just, like, mind-boggling to me. But then again, they are Freaks of nature when it comes to uh, their athleticism and whatnot. This is true, JMS. This is true. Good eye. I never noticed that until you mentioned it. Otani, 249 Angels. All right. Getting down to the end. Framil Reyes, Padres to 150. Goldie. Reese Hoskins, Phillies patch. Is this a hot box? We got one, two relics, two autos. I mean, four hits. Jacob DeGrom for the Mets. Two of five. Press proof. Diamond Kings. Answer. Nice. A little something something right there for the Mets. Very nice looking card. 
205. Sweet. box mojo we need to end with a bang here what's that bucks uh patriots game looking like right now mm. bucks up by 13 And then there's that other game tonight, Thunder Blazers. And they both have the exact same uh, record. Here it comes, Francisco. I made you wait long enough. Oh, boy. Here we go. Let's open this up. I'm surprised the Pacers have been able to maintain their uh, high level of play without their best player, Oladipo. All right, Greg, I got you. Actually, I think you, yeah, I think you you, did, you sent me an email. I uh, I read it. I just haven't responded to it. So yeah, I I, I got it. I got it. Teethed. Last box mojo. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got. Blake's new to 150 raise. Bader Cardinals badge. 
And while I'm at it, a Chapman Ace Patch. So boom, two hits right there. Mookie Betts, 999 Red Sox. <clears throat> Correa, 249 Astros, and Ray Lewis, Royce Lewis, twins on the back. And Duhar, 500 Yankees. Overrated player in the NBA? That's a tough one. I would go Kyrie. Taylor Ward, 135 Angels. Either Kyrie or James Harden. Actually, nah, I take that back. Definitely Kyrie. Moogie Betts, 500 uh, Red Sox. Ooh, I was about to cry. Yelich, 42 Brewers. Keith Van Horn, wow. I remember that guy. Kershaw Dodgers 99. AJ Puck 80s on the back. The American Pride cards we got a random. Like a one on one autograph or something crazy here, dang it. Mankato, 150 White Sox. Santos Phillies Come on. Zilla. Uh, Eloy Jimenez White Sox Relic Antoine Walker <laughs> Former Miami Heat player right there too Tippy Toe 3 Miles Straw Astros autograph There you go Astros with a little something something for you. Three relics and an autograph in that box. It's usually only three hits. So we technically did get two hot boxes because the other box had two relics and two autos in it.
Braden Shoemake, 99 American Pride. And that is going to do it for the break. So, got a few things we need to random here. We got this. Uh, all these American Pride cards are going to go to one team. Why? Because I decided. This uh, card is uh, also going to go to one team. Domingo Ayala doesn't have a team assignment. These, on the other hand, I have multiples of. Not, I don't know why I put these Dominators here. But let's see, I got multiples of the Kershaw, the Correa, and the Blackman. Correct, the Mundo? Yeah. Both of these are to 999. 249.999, and then we have a 99 and a 999. Alright, so what I'm going to do is the following. Since these only have one, it's going to go to either or the team on the front or the team on the back. Now, for these that are doubled, I have one that's numbered 463 out of 999, another one that's numbered 813 out of 999. So I'm going to give one to the Rockies here and the other one to the Rangers on the back. All right. Same with this Correa. One is the 249, which is higher numbered. The other one's the 999. And the Kershaw, we got one to 99 and another one to 999. So this is what's about to happen. I'm going to roll a dice. Okay. If I get an odd number, it's going to go to the front side team. So let's say I get an odd number. The winner is going to get the 99 Kershaw. The other one is going to get the AJ Puck Kershaw. That's to 999. So the higher number will go to the winner. That's what it'll be. So odd number, front side team, even number, team on the back. So odd front, even back. All right, here we go. The number one is odd. So this will be Astros. That'll be Nationals, Cubs, and Rockies. Boom. Let's get this out the way. Awesome. So now this one to 99 will be Dodgers. This one, which is to 999, will go to the A's. This one, which is to 249, will go to the Astros. This one, which is to 999, will go to the Twins. And these are both to 999. However, this one's 463. This one is 813. So I'm going to give the higher number to the Rockies. And the other one to the Rangers. Boom. Cardboard Moses has spoken. All right. Let's put this aside. Now let's roll another die for the uh, cards we need to random here. We're going to go 11 times in the randomizer. Need some space. All right, let's take this down real quick. Come to the random. Boom. We're going to do the uh, American Pride cards first. They're going to go all to one team. So we're going to paste that there. All teams. Going 11 times. The top team gets the American Pride cards. Money shot 11. Boom. So the Giants will be receiving... The American Pride cards. Done deal. Now, for the Domingo Ayala autograph, do another random. Again, 11 times. Top team gets the Domingo Ayala autograph. Who apparently is like a YouTuber. 
Never heard of him though. And the money shot eleven. Boom eleven. The A's getting a little something something right there with the uh, Domingo Ayala. So now we can start our recap. So Domingo Ayala autograph A's. Boom. Before I show the autos, we got a DeGrom, 2 of 5 Mets, a Flaherty, 5 of 10 for the Cardinals, and the Yusei Kikuchi Mariners card, which are pretty tough to hit. Now the autos. We have uh, Miles Straw, Astros, Tuki Toussaint, 3 of 25 for the Braves, Louis Urias to 99 Padres, uh, Dakota Hudson, Cardinals, Tuki Toussaint, Braves, Marcelo Zuna, the buyback auto, numbered 19 of 26 for the Cardinals, Roger Clemens, 5 of 10 buyback auto for the Red Sox, Vladdy Guerrero Jr. to 99 Blue Jays, plus the whammy to go with it. Pretty sick break for the Blue Jays. And that's going to do it, my friends. Thank you very much. We'll get it out to you.